I have a question to ask you. Come here. Hey, look, Penny, if you could have one microphone, if you're going to cut your first record and you were going to do your podcast, which mic would you pick? Would it be the SM57 or would it be the SM7B? Okay, thank you very much. Check, check. Check, check. Hey, hey. Two, two. Check, check. Check, check. Okay, so today we're going to talk microphones. Specifically, if you can only have one microphone, what should you get? I, for one, think it should be either the Shure SM57 or the Shure SM7B. Both of these microphones are industry standards. You're going to see them in just about every recording studio. So today we're gonna to talk about these two microphones and why you would pick one over the other and which one might be right for you, especially if you're new to microphones. If this is your first mic purchase, how do you know which one to get? Also, uh, there are some affiliate links for both of these mics in the description box. So if you'd like to support the channel, pick up one of these mics through that link. That's Philip behind the camera. Let's talk about these mics. The 57 is great at recording anything really i mean you can get away with recording really soft uh, delicate acoustic instruments or acoustic pianos things like in fact you've done that before you've mic'd up mm -hmm. uprights with just a pair of 57s and it sounds great it's capable of handling really really high levels without distorting or breaking up but it's still sensitive enough to be able to record vocals with it super reliable super durable and very, very versatile. The other nice thing about the 57 is the price. Uh, right now on Sweetwater, at the time of recording this, it is $99, which is basically the same price it's always been. Like my first 57 I bought in 2010 was 99 bucks. So can't go wrong with that, but you should also be considering this mic. This is the SM7B. Now the B stands for broadcast. This was primarily designed to be a radio microphone, a broadcast microphone. Uh, and even though it looks completely different than the 57, it's actually pretty similar. Like the 57, it's also a dynamic microphone. Uh, and it has a similar capsule. Now the capsule is what's responsible for picking up the sound source. Here is what the SM7B sounds like on my vocal. It's got a little bit better low end response. If you're primarily recording vocals, if you're a singer or you're a podcaster or you're looking to record vocals for your YouTube channel or your TikTok account, the SM7B, I think, is probably the way to go between these two microphones. It's famously been used on hundreds of chart-topping records uh, to record vocals. For example, this is the mic that uh, Michael Jackson used to record Thriller. Now compare that to this, the 57, on my vocal. You can hear it's a little bit different. This mic has more of an upper mid-range response, which may or may not be what you're looking for. It depends on your vocal tone, your vocal sound. Now because this doesn't have the pop filter on it like the SM7B does, it's more susceptible to things like plosives, uh, whereas this is a little bit less susceptible. Personally, I think the SM7 sounds better on my vocal. That's why I use it on my podcast. But that upper mid-range bite that the 57 has makes it a great choice to use on guitar amps, for example, because it's going to help that guitar cut through and be a little bit more present in the mix when you're recording. <laughs> note here I, I don't want to just line up the end of each microphone because that's not where each diaphragm is so for example the 57 
the mic capsule and diaphragm is actually like right about here. And the SM7, you can actually see it's further back. Like it's, it's back maybe about a three quarters of an inch or so. So what I'm gonna do is actually just measure off the grill cloth to where the SM7's capsule is, which is right about five and a quarter inches. I'm gonna move the 57 back to match that. Now, in reality, oh, thank you, Ben. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna move my mic placement that I just? Yeah. Do you want to okay. go play soccer, Benny? Oh. Soccer ball. Play soccer ball. There you go. <laughs> Which one should you buy? Depends on your budget and what you're looking to do. If you are more of a musician, producer, songwriter, you're gonna be recording music, multiple sound sources, you wanna record your band, you wanna record drums, or you want uh, multiple mics to record one source, like a pair of these to record a piano, for example, I'd start with the 57. It's gonna be something that you end up having around your studio anyways. This is $100 brand new. This is $400 brand new. So I can literally buy four of these microphones for the cost of one of these. A pair of these or two pair of these is a really, really great place to start because you'll never outgrow them. This is why I think it's a good place to start with one of these microphones instead of a more budget condenser microphone, for example, because the more budget condenser mics are good, they offer a lot of value for money, but as you grow, you will outgrow that microphone. These, you can outgrow. They're literally used by professionals of all different stripes in every different recording studio, big and small. I mean, they're the industry standard for this type of microphone for a reason. However, if you are doing more vocal recording, you're gonna be just recording acoustic guitar and then recording vocals and then maybe recording a guitar amp or something like that, I'd actually go with the SM7B. I think its response, its frequency response, makes it a little bit more versatile and usable for vocals than the 57, uh, but it still does everything that the 57 does really well. It sounds great on amplifiers. It sounds great on snare drum. It's a great kick drum microphone. It's a great uh, bass amp microphone. Because of the better low end response that this microphone offers, it's better used on sound sources like kick drum, like bass amps that have more low end that you wanna capture. My first microphone that I ever bought was a SM7. And the reason I chose that one was it was affordable. Yeah, it's a little more expensive than the SM57, but I knew it was a pro quality mic that I could afford. And I prioritized my bass sound. And I knew that the SM7 has a great bass frequency response, but it also sounds really good on vocals. And I wanted to start to get into production and, and recording and producing albums. So I figured if I could only have one mic, I wanted to prioritize the bass sound and the vocal sound. So that's why I went with the SM7. And I don't regret that choice. It's a really great microphone on bass and vocals. It really comes down to what do you need? Do you want multiple microphones to record one source or multiple sources? Get yourself a handful of 57s at 100 bucks a pop. If you need one microphone to do everything with, it's the SM7B. And I really think it just comes down to that. How many mics do you need for the money? You really can't go wrong with either microphone. Let me know what you think about these mics in the description box down below. My name is Rhett. That's been Philip behind the camera today. Uh, like I said, there's gonna be affiliate links and all that stuff in the description box down below and subscribe while you're down there. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all on the next one.